Hi everyone, my name is Anuj. I'm a second year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur and thank you so much for being here. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through a tour of my workspace where I spend maximum of my time and the place that has made me the person who I am today. Huge thank you to every single one of you who ever watches my video or interacts with it because without you guys, buying all of this as a student would have been very, very difficult. So thank you so much and yeah, without any further ado, let's start. So my workspace is very flexible. If I really think about it, it has basically two orientations. Uh, so the first orientation is when I'm in the study mode that I'm studying a lot each day and the workspace then transforms into something like this. So here are the things that you can see over here. I have my iPad plus the Magic Keyboard. Earlier I used to have my older 6th generation iPad but I've recently updated to the iPad Air 4. A review on it coming shortly. As an MBBS student, I prefer to use physical books rather. And finally, we have stationeries which have highlighters, sticky notes, my journal, some plastic stuff and pens and notebooks, etc. So let us start with the uses of each of these following things. You're all familiar with how I use it by watching my study with me videos, but let me just tell you a bit more about it. So there are three uses which I thought about in the study direction when the iPad comes to my mind. The most important one I use it for is of course making notes and writing questions. So the notes which I'm making are digital notes in the app GoodNotes 5 and um, these notes are you know synced across all my devices at the same time. Plus the ability to make you know whatever you can think of is just something amazing which physical notes cannot ever offer. If you don't have a highlighter of let's say a cyan color then you won't be able to use it in the real life but here in the digital realm there's no such thing as something which you don't have. You have everything at your you know disposal and you can use everything. So digital notes. Second is writing questions. So I use Google Docs a lot. Now I've recently started using Notion as the primary tool for writing a lot of questions. This helps me you know recall all of the things that I've earlier read. The second use is for watching Marrow videos. Now being a Plan C user which allows me to have you know videos, cue banks and you know tests. I watch a lot of videos on the iPad itself and the only reason is that because my phone has a smaller screen and I would definitely love to have a larger screen. So hence I use the iPad more than I use my phone for watching videos. The videos are of course excellent and while I'm watching those beautiful made videos I sometimes prefer to read the notes which are given in the videos itself and sometimes I plan to write my own notes which I can either write down on a physical copy or I can make digital notes out of them. What I have noticed is that when I had the smaller iPad, the 6th generation one, it did not have a lot of space. So I was constrained to having making notes on a separate physical copy. But now that I am on an iPad Air 4, which has a lot, lot larger screen, I can split it and write notes on a separate page. And these notes always, almost always come out looking excellent. The last point is using the iPad, I have almost all the books that I ever need with me wherever I go because I take the iPad almost everywhere I go. So remember those times when I used to go out? Uh, at least then I used to take it outside my home. But now we are here. How it's revolutionary is that the fact that uh, I don't have to buy anything and I can have it. I still prefer physical books for the maximum reading that I'm going to be doing. Uh, and the reason is that uh, it's so much more easier to navigate in a physical notebook and a physical book uh, for me rather than a PDF of something. So that is definitely what I do that for the most majority of the subjects that are you know bulk and that I have to grasp on I buy the physical books and the subjects which need small referring for example the atlas of anatomy or the atlas of histology or pathology or something like that so these subjects require a small small touch up from different books which you can't really buy so the iPad gets me the bigger screen size for reading as well as referring material alright so that was all about the iPad and apart from that uh, I have also got the magic keyboard and uh, it's, a, it's one of those things that you don't realize that you need until you have it uh, it's perhaps the best typing experience that uh, anybody can ever get it's kind of expensive so if you can't afford it then don't go for it because there are different ways to get around it using different keyboards from other companies as well for all the people who are asking me about the books about second year mbbs please kindly find the first link below the description to go to my website i have listed them out in a very beautiful manner i was not confident to make a video so i did not make one all right the last part is about the stationery so my stationery is usually limited because uh, i make digital notes and of course i have pens and highlighters and they do their own stuff but one of the revolutionary things I want to tell you about uh, are these things these small things if I don't know if you can see I don't know what we call them but I call them small plastic thingies so small plastic thingies uh, really help me bookmark the special parts of the book which have been asked more in the exams so they help navigate through it uh, a lot easier apart from that I always make sure to have sticky notes placed about whatever the important questions that have been asked from a particular topic at that particular page in the book itself so yeah that was all about uh, my study mode now that the study mode is over and we are going on to the creative mode there is some things which lie in between both of these one of those things is this guy so this guy when you open it up it reveals a lot of papers 
okay so these papers are actually big sticky notes which can be used to keep track of everything uh, that is going on throughout the day if i have some sudden task that came into my mind i could just write them out and then just stick it on the side of the uh, table or something like that apart from that i also have my journal now this is a journal where i keep almost all the data of my life into so it's got uh, like different things like financing sponsors then uh, you know income tax things and of course the ideas that come to my mind and all the different things that i want to do throughout the day so this is the journal which is always over here and uh, this is something uh, which has helped me organize my life a little bit more uh, i there are i know there are different apps like notion and everything who can do this for you but i definitely prefer this version because i don't know physical books seem to be more navigatable to me at least another thing on my desk is this mask by eye shield eye shield has created the first made in india face mask that kills 99.99% covid viruses i spoke to one of the scientists and they have had a revolutionary molecular technology that ruptures the outer layer of the sars cov2 you can use this mask for up to 3 months these are super breathable get your mask at 199 from the link in the description all right moving on to the second part that is the creative mode of course this video deserves its own special attention but in creative mode this is what the desktop transforms into so we have a computer with a wireless keyboard and mouse the computer as you can see the specifications are over here and the keyboard and mouse are from logitech and then again i have a list of everything that i want to do on the computer a list of meetings list of work to be done i have my journal of course to write down all the free thoughts in my mind that are coming around and of course i have a microphone for crisp audio quality whenever i'm doing something like a narration over the back of a study with me video or something like uh, different videos creating for the app well as a creator i look at myself uh, running two different two big things of my life first of all is this very youtube channel which is kind of difficult to run uh, when you are an mbbs student who has a lot to study of course and second thing is my app axon is an app which is you know designed for biology it's the best app for biology don't look that up but uh, it's definitely helping a lot of students achieve their dream colleges of mbbs so if you haven't checked it out please download second link below the description the another burden which comes while you are running a startup is meetings a lot of meetings are there with a lot of people and uh, those people can be like the sponsors for your youtube videos and the people who are going to be potential co-workers with you and then there are meetings with marketing people and it's really a headache sometimes but anyways greatness never came easy we have to work for it and i hope that if you are a student watching this you are by now inspired by this story that was all about the creative mode and i just want to put a last point over here if you're a normal student you don't require a lot of tech i mean seriously you could just be fine with just having a book and a pencil and a paper that would you know you can be the best student with that also but i prefer a more digital approach because i think technology is the only way in which we can move forward so and personally i've experienced that so if you have the funds if you have the capital try investing in one also another thing that i would like to add is uh, you know if you are thinking about getting into the creative business thing then i think that uh, you should definitely do it but uh, it does come at a cost because if you're a normal student you can study 4 hours and then just be fine with it and you could be the topper of your university if you do that for like 365 days but for me if i study for 4 hours then then again comes a 4 hour you know uh, content creation thing where in 4 hours i create something like a 25 minute video or a 10 minute video for this channel or for my app but again like i said greatness does not come for free you have to work for it with that being said uh, this video about my productive desk setup is over it was more about uh, you know how different modes can change different parts of our lives the reason why i think that all of this workspace needs to be as productive as possible is because of the fact that once we really enjoy the process of making something whether it be memories of studies inside our head or whether it be creating of videos for the internet if we enjoy the process then you know we naturally tend to do that things more often if this was not the way it is if it was something which was unmotivating to me then of course i wouldn't have studied i wouldn't have put out as many videos as i am doing right now so all of this uh, is subconsciously linked to our environment uh, having a great environment of course has a lot of benefits and this is one of the benefits that this environment is keeping me productive as always with that being said thank you so much for watching my video if you gained some amount of value some amount of motivation please hit the subscribe button and please hit the thumbs up button because it really helps small channels like me grow a lot and with that you can grow together so yeah uh, all the links are in the description you can check them out thanks for watching and stay safe stay healthy and stay happy until next time i hope to see you here again